Hello, everybody. My name is Rob Bayuk, and I lead the Prezi Education Team. I'm excited to be here with you today in Zoom Academy to introduce you to uh, an exciting new capability of Prezi and really uh, highlight some amazing shifts and, and, and positives, if I dare say, that came out of the pandemic as it relates to education technology. As we saw, Zoom became pervasive across all levels of education, really taking um, blended learning to the next level. And some of you might be saying, oh, I remember Prezi. Uh, I used Prezi many years ago, but, but the Prezi I'm about to show you is not your grandmother's Prezi. We've really taken things to the next level. Now you can actually interact with your content live on screen in amazing new ways. And this is something that was previously unimagined. And, then, and we no longer have to rely on sharing screens and putting ourselves in a little box and reducing your teacher presence uh, in that instance, we can actually now get really close and into our content and really bring our students to the Roman Colosseum and really dig in to this content in new and unique ways. And this is done through Prezi Video. So Prezi Video, what it is, is if you do and are familiar with Prezi, it builds off of Prezi presentations, but the video product is a really easy to create graphic overlay technology that lets you um, build these immersive graphics, lets you maintain your teacher presence, your teacher leader presence, and interact with the content. And it's really easy to start. We have these amazing, beautifully designed professional templates. You can record video and share it any way you'd like, and you can live stream and Zoom. And the benefit of that is anything you create to record in a video can also be shared live in a blended learning environment. I'll show you some examples here. One easy way to get started is using our app, which is the Prezi Video Desktop app, the same app I'm using right here in this Zoom. I can start by importing a PowerPoint and then simply taking that PowerPoint and using that to start my Prezi Video. And then by the time this is uh, you're watching this, we'll have launched the new ability to import from Google Slides as well, which will be very exciting for all those Google users out there. So if I can get started with the PowerPoint, and you can see right here, um, one of our uh, friends at Northwestern University in the School of Medicine is using this amazing um, design um, in, uh, that talks about prosthetics and is launching a new summer cohort uh, in Zoom and really introducing this content in a new and unique way. You can see now, she can see her, her great graphics and the students there interacting. And as she's brought in another speaker, another great example is Albuquerque Public Schools. And they've adopted our Teams collaborative platform to use it for their English language learners. And so not only are they doing recorded videos, but they have the capabilities of going live with students across their classrooms in this important program. Another professor that's been using um, Prezi Video for quite a while now is Robert Morgan out of Washington University in St. Louis. And one thing we're seeing with um, Robert Morgan is he's doing some amazing things with um, engaging students in the theater arts. And we have a great blog post on Prezi if you wanna check it out and learn more. The other use case we're seeing is not only is it direct to students and the ability to engage students, but it's the ability to engage um, staff and teacher training. We're seeing training exercises, we're seeing webinars, virtual events, and this example, um, you have an educator leading a group of other educators on how to create exceptional instructional videos and what are the pedagogical models that apply to creating exceptional um, uh, videos. So it's really um, as we can interact with content, whether it's in videos or in Zoom, we can do it in these more immersive ways where, again, we're not disappearing. We are being present and with our content, almost like a weather person or a newscaster. So. As you mentioned, or as, as I've mentioned, actually, that we, um, Prezi's been around for a long time, we've had educators across the globe using it in many um, very creative ways. And throughout the pandemic, we really saw this um, increase um, as, as educators sought out new ways to engage with their students. And as I mentioned, the Prezi video tool, as I'm using it right now, I'm live in Zoom, but anything I do can be used in a recorded video. And so we've seen flipped classroom models really um, up their game um, for instructional videos, mini lectures, um, blended learning. This example, Jamie Hewing, a teacher in the Bronx, is using Prezi video um, for uh, read aloud storytelling for K-5. And it really is an immersive experience. 
And it really is the creativity of the teacher that, that can then be present with the content they want to use with their students. Another example is, is outlining new assignments and setting clear expectations for students. No longer is there this multiple sheet that you hand to your students with all this detail that is, you know, honestly seldom read. Whereas a video, students can either watch, in this case, it's a, a music teacher where he's demonstrating what he's, he's teaching. And really, it can be an easy student reference. He can use it to clarify rubrics and really, really elevate the student understanding as they go about their new assignment. Similarly, as we're looking at assessment and we're getting ready to prepare for assessment, we can really help our students succeed in clarifying what's coming on the test and review content and have this asset that students can review back. Again, anything created for video is, is usable within Zoom. And we have some amazing templates that are game show review and flashcards. So you can make this more interactive combining tools with Zoom and tools that we have um, with Prezi Video. And so um, you'll see a couple of my students uh, waiting in the gallery as you've seen patiently. Um, student Cynthia, can you wave? And student Tracy, thank you for being here today, students, because it's, it's really exciting because we're gonna talk about a brand new feature for Prezi Video and something that now your students can take advantage of. And you'll see now as we'll elevate the interactions and the reactions and feedback we can get directly from our students. So in this simple example, I'm gonna ask my students, um, what's your favorite animal and why? And now you'll see as they think about this, oh wow, Tracy has created the giraffe, she says, and she's typed in that using a live Prezi video uh, live editing capability. And then you see Cynthia, a cat fan, and I knew she was a cat fan. That's why I chose this little kitty in the, uh, in, in the pillow. And so now I, I can see what my students are, are, are thinking. I can ask for their feelings. I can ask, ask for elevated reactions. And now we can just see where, where educators, I'm excited to see where educators will take this moving forward. And as I go back, I could now dive in deeper to Prezi Video, and I want to now share my screen within Prezi Video. And this is something a little different than how you share your screen in Zoom. So now what I'm showing is you'll see in Google Earth, I'm actually in a browser window, and now I can pop around Africa, I can spin the globe, and if I want to dive into the savannah and start talking about cheetahs, I can dive in just like I would in a browser. So this ability to share my screen in this unique way without putting me away or off to the side, I'm keeping the students focused, I'm keeping them engaged, and I'm able to dig into content in, in a really unique way with Prezi Video. Now I've actually dropped myself into the Prezi Video editor, which is a little meta because um, I'm, I'm live in Prezi Video, but what you're seeing here is the tool that you would ultimately use to create your next present video. So easy to drag and drop to get started. You can grab from your OneDrive, your Google Drive, or as I've said, a PowerPoint or a Google slide and get started. And then once you've created that, you can simply go live in Zoom and you can do what you're seeing here and interact with your content. It's quite easy to get started. Lastly, I just wanted to wrap up um, with the fact that um, Prezi's done a lot of work, a lot of engineering work to integrate deeply with the Google Education Suite. It's pervasive in K-12 and certainly um, in higher ed as well. And, and as a partner, we've done deep integration with Google Classroom. It's very easy to make a Prezi video an assignment or share it as an announcement. We have an integration with Google Drive where you can actually get a, an app and you can create a Prezi video and share it directly from within your Google Drive. And then um, most exciting for, um, uh, predominantly K-12 is the Chromebook app for Prezi Video. So students can then develop their own voice and share their own Prezi videos using the Chromebook app um, that we have in the App Hub. So I encourage you to explore that um, and they're all free. So I hope you have a sense for what Prezi Video could bring to your blended learning, to your teacher education, your training, and even your staff development. Lots of uses and very anxious to see how educators will take this and move this along and really take it to the next level, combining Prezi video and Zoom. You can try it right here at Prezi.com. There's a free individual trial, and we also have for institutions a Teams license that is for purchase, 
that enables next level collaboration, centralized billing, and the ability to have a private space for your educators to collaborate in. So with that, I thank you for your time and I appreciate you listening to the end. Thank you.